with borrowed money from the U.S. Treasury. He then promised to pay a huge bribe to the International Olympic Committee using stolen money from the Prosperity Funds. When he arrived empty-handed after failing to access the accounts, they immediately threw out Chicago out of the running and now Obama is stuck with a bunch of worthless slumland and a huge debt to the U.S. Treasury. In another incident, Obama demanded 58% of the program money to be paid to him in his personal bank account, with the rest of the money to be taxed at a rate of 65%. Both the Queen of England, President of France Nicolas Sarkozy, and German Chancellor Angela Merkel agreed to these terms. And why not? After all, it's not their money they're giving away. The Queen of England has also participated in this sabotage. She has placed secret override codes into these banking computers, which allow her ladyship and Obama to move this money around and around until hell freezes over, awaiting the time until they can figure out how to access these funds. To garner the cooperation of Bush Sr. and Obama, the Global Family offered to pay 0.5% for all their fraudulent derivatives and warehouses of stolen loot in exchange for the new gold-backed U.S. Treasury currency. This offer was turned down and a new offer was made at 2.5% with Obama getting 2.5% of that. Even though these percentages may appear to be small, they are based on quadrillions of dollars, so we are talking enormous amounts of money. This offer was also refused and now they are demanding a 100% exchange along with agreement to escape exposure and prosecution. This offer was flatly turned down. I didn't choose to tackle this issue to get some legislative victory under my belt. And by now it should be fairly obvious that I didn't take on health care because it was good politics. To pay for the United States health care bill, Obama attempted to raise $44.5 trillion through the sale of a health care revenue anticipation bond in Switzerland with a 35-year term collateralized by the Freedom Bankroll Program. Of this, $42 trillion was to go to Obama personally and the other $2.5 trillion will pay for the government's takeover of health care. The only problem is, Obama had the signatures forged along with a few senior Democratic senators and congressmen who are now demanding his impeachment. When Swiss authorities realized the signatures were forged, they proceeded to turn over the evidence to the International Court of Justice. Obama tried to block this action through an executive order, but no one seems to be paying it much attention. It's not true. The reason Obama wanted $42 trillion is because he has been borrowing money heavily from the banks in order to bribe anyone who dares to oppose him. These loans are collateralized using forged signatures of prosperity program recipients in their corresponding bank trades. This loan money is then used to bribe World Corps judges to look the other way. But because the White Knights are blocking these transactions, Obama is going deeper and deeper into debt. The banks are starting to realize a trap is being set for them, but sadly, it's too late. There is no way they can recover from these mega loan losses. They may think they can simply destroy evidence of these transactions and hope the problem goes away, but luckily, duplicates can be found through state auditors. When Obama is confronted with these criminal actions, his typical response is, as long as I am the president, which would be for another 12 or 18 years or whatever I decide because I am the ruler, you will never get this money and eventually I will get all of it, one way or another. When referring to the American people, Obama was quoted as saying, they are scum and trash and they do not need or deserve this money. One source is even quoting him as saying, I am king, I am God. Obama's arrogance may stem from the plans of George Bush Sr. and the Thule Society to crown Obama as a God King under a thousand year Reich beginning in 2012. For these reasons, the White Knights have ordered Obama to submit his resignation papers if he wishes to avoid treason. But Obama simply laughs it off and replies, You can't charge me. Besides, the House and Senate will never go along with it because they are just as guilty as I am. He then continues to insist the funds are his to do as he pleases, as he is the ruler of this country. In these interesting and informative clips, the authors make a bold stride toward exposing the evil going on in the world. And certainly I would support such informative videos, as you can certainly see that you will not see them on any broadcast or print media. But I would point out a serious problem with these and other truth movement people. They don't get to the heart of the matter. As an analogy, 
Let us say, 